you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy, where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams, including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED, and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today, okay? The curved surface areas of two cones are equal. The base radius of one is 5 cm and the slant height is 12 cm. We have to calculate the height of the second cone if its base radius is 6 centimeters okay we want to depict these two cones so we're having something like this and another cone just like this didn't get this first cone right off but just let's follow through okay, okay let's see these are the two cones then we are told that the base radius of one is five centimeters so this base radius this is 5 centimeters and the slant height what's the meaning of slant height it is this inclined height okay so this is 12 centimeters now we have to calculate the height of the second cone if its base radius is 6 centimeters look at what they are telling us they are asking us for the height not the slant height now okay that means that what we are looking for is this height okay if I'm to call that height let me call it H but we are given that its base radius is 6 centimeters so yeah this is 6 centimeters okay so we are looking for the height not the slant height H but then if we are to say this slant height is X noting that we are told that the core surface areas of the two cones are equal we can use that as the int to solve this question. But first, we need to understand what is the formula for the core surface area of a cone. You know that the core surface area of cone is given as pi r l. Okay. So for the cone A and the cone B, the two cones that we are given, we can say if this is, let's say this is A and this is b for the a the core surface area will be pile what's the radius the radius is 5 multiplied by the slant height that is 12 okay that is equal to for the second one pile what's the radius that's 6 and what is the slant height we don't know it we tag it as x okay from here the pies can cancel each other so that we have 6x will be 60 so 6x is equal to 5 times 12 that's 60 therefore x will be 60 over 6 and that will be 10 centimeters but we just got the slant height if we stop there we are not going to get our full mark what we are being asked is to get the height of the second cone. So, to get the height of the second cone, we can see that we now have something like this. From the cone, we have something like this. Okay. So, this base is 6 centimeters. This height is what we are looking for. And we just got this slant height to be centimeters already you can see that this is a right angle triangle and we can use the pythagoras theorem to actually evaluate the value of h from the pythagoras theorem we know that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the opposite plus the square of the adjacent okay so h square will be 10 square minus c square 10 raised to the power 2 is 100 
minus 6 raised to the power 2 is 36. So, 8 square is equal to 100 minus 36 is 64. So, that h will be the square root of 64. And the square root of 64 is 8 centimeters. So, the height of the second cone is 8 centimeters. All right. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.